I'm really proud of you for going on this trip. You're gonna have so much fun. And remember, if something chases you, Hey, what's going on guys? It is Jack here, and today I'm showing you a massive Lego mock. This is a Jurassic World in-gen facility, and if you don't know what that is, it's perfectly fine because it's not explicitly mentioned in any of the movies, but basically in-gen is the corporation that did all the genetic research to make these dinosaurs and provided John Hammond with all the DNA samples to create these massive beasts and make Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. It's actually pretty good that there was no reference material because I got to take a lot of creative liberty and make this exactly how I wanted it to. That's why there's over 5,000 pieces. It's built on a 48 by 48 base plate and has a buttload of detail. So without further ado, let's check this thing out. As you can see, this mock is pretty symmetrical, and that was the purpose. The left and right hand sides are designed the same way. That way they can kind of encapsulate the middle, which shows a giant pen. This is for holding a T-Rex, an Indominus Rex, Raptors, any kind of dinosaur that needs to be released, contained, healed, or anything really. I took a lot of extra time to make sure this pen was the right size and had the right amount of space to actually fit a dinosaur or back the truck up so you can drop one off or pick it up and take it back to its enclosure. The cool thing about this is that it has a sliding door. It took me a while to design this, but these doors actually clamp together with the angled bricks out front. And then beyond that, I made sure to include a lot of detail to make this thing not look as boring as it could have. You can see the dirt path where the truck actually backs up, and there's no foliage there for kind of obvious reasons. There's also a bunch of bamboo pieces to make this feel a little bit more lively, and there's foliage going up along the walls of the pen. Moving directly out of the enclosure, you can see there is a front driveway and the main entrance to the actual facility. There is no doorway that really invites you inside as this isn't a tourist attraction so there's just some gray doors on the left and right hand sides again this thing is symmetrical and those will take you into a small area with stairs leading you to the second story moving back outside though there is a lot of detail that went into the walls at least on the front there's a lot of girder pieces that make a very industrial look and act like fences and you know they're electrical so warning don't go into them obviously this industrial look with all the metal and you know the fencing and the compound stuff does not continue all the way around the mock there are some aspects that kind of fade it and blend it into the other parts, but it does not actually continue like you would expect it to. Along the back, you can see there is an area to look inside the pen. There's an asset containment unit right there, but there's not actually anything back here except room for wall space. I had a whole lot of fun designing the roofs, actually. There's a lot of detail that went into this, a lot more than I normally do. Up along the right-hand side, you can see there is a helipad with some lights shining down into the pen. There's a small little control panel that I guess would signal to the helicopters and satellites and antennas so that this facility actually has signaling when they need to contact someone or receive a signal for television or something like that. On the other side is the gigantic HVAC unit and this thing will just make sure the whole building is cool or warm or whatever, you know, temperature is necessary to make these dinosaurs grow properly. Below that, I guess you could call this section a balcony. This is where you would actually feed the dinosaurs inside the enclosure. There's a crane taken directly from the Indominus Rex breakout set. I really like that design so I decided to include it here. There's a bunch of crates and bins that actually hold the food, but that will pretty much cover the rest of the exterior. The bottom floor of both of the buildings include laboratories. This is where the research is done, obviously. On the left-hand side, there are some eggs that are growing. There's a DNA control panel, so you can actually customize the DNA. Of course, I don't think you would word it that way, and it's probably not as easy as that, but that's just what I'm going to call it. And then there's just a bunch more computers to make sure that this thing actually functions properly, the eggs are doing all right, and the dinosaurs grow up to actually function as they should. The other side is somewhat similar. It has a massive computer with a bunch of wires sticking out. I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty cool. Along the middle, there is a small little container that holds Baby Blue. This is a small raptor which would grow up to be Blue from Jurassic World and Jurassic World The Fallen Kingdom. And then finally, there is a table with a bunch of amber samples. This is where you would extract the blood from the mosquitoes and make the dinosaurs. I don't really want to explain the whole Jurassic Park movie, but 
That's just kind of what I'm doing, isn't it? Directly above this section is what I would call the arsenal. This is where all the ACUs get their weapons to fend off dinosaurs. You know, you got your stabby sticks, your gunny guns, and your shooter blaster things. And on the other hand side is probably the most boring section. This is just the office area. It's got all the paperwork, all the plans, everything you need to know about Jurassic World in this small little section. But that will wrap it up for this mock. I know I said a lot of stuff in a short amount of time, so I'm sorry if you missed a lot, but you can follow me on Instagram to see even more shots of this build. But as always, thanks so much for oh, wait i almost forgot to mention that this thing was a collaboration with sacred bricks and avaki we all made the engine facilities so you can find them in the description in the card above on the end screen all that stuff you can find them and watch their videos because their mocks are just as good so as always thanks so much for watching and most importantly take care guys got it right yes